Minister Enko Sazana Dlamini Zuma has sent a letter to ANC Electoral Committee head Kagalima Motlanti on Friday informing the party of her decision. Minister Inko Sazana Dlamini Zuma has sent a letter to ANC Electoral Committee head Kegalama Motlanti on Friday informing the party of her decision. Minister in the Presidency responsible for women, youth and persons with disabilities Inko Sazana Dlamini Zuma has told the ANC she will retire from Parliament during its next term. Hot Mzansi has seen a letter Dlamini Zuma sent to ANC Electoral Committee head Kigalema Motlanthe on Friday, informing the party of her decision. In the letter, Dlamini Zuma tells Motlanthe there was no need to schedule an interview with her as part of the public representative list process ahead of the elections this year as she will not be available. Dlamini Zuma was nominated by ANC branches to return to Parliament on the national list but the 74-year-old has turned them down. It will not be necessary to schedule the interview for the 2024 national list because I have taken a decision to retire from being a member of the South African Parliament, Dlamini Zuma wrote. The letter, dated January 12th and directed to Motland, copying in the party's Secretary-General Fikile Mbalula and Provincial Secretaries, comes on the eve of the ANC 112th birthday celebrations, known as the January 8th Statement, taking place in Mambombela, Mpumalanga. She said she appreciated the confidence the ANC branches have shown in her by nominating her for Parliament. Dlamini Zuma is one of the longest-serving ANC MPs. She has been a member of the National Assembly since the dawn of democracy in 1994. She has also been in Cabinet since 1994, having served under all five presidents since Nelson Mandela's tenure. My sincere gratitude to the entire leadership of the ANC from national, provincial, regional and branch levels for affording me the opportunity and support to serve the country and the people of South Africa as a public representative and as a member of cabinet since 1994, she wrote. This means should the ANC retain power after the elections, she will cease to be a member of cabinet as ministers are appointed from MPs. Her letter comes as the ANC was said to have been considering hauling her over the coals and dragging her before the ANC's National Disciplinary Committee, NDC, on several counts of repeatedly defying the party line in Parliament. Dlamini Zuma was expected to explain to the NDC why she voted in December last year for the adoption of the Section 89 report recommending an impeachment process for President Cyril Ramaphosa over the Fala Fala scandal when the party had instructed its MPs to vote against it. She was also expected to be charged as a repeat offender because last year she again defied the party in a vote on the creation of an ad hoc committee to look into the Fala Fala saga. More charges were expected to be brought against Dlamini Zuma after she failed to show up in the National Assembly for the vote to impeach former public protector Buzisiwe Mkhwebane.